Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guy and Kicks here, back at it again with another review. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your day to watch this video and talk sneakers with me. I also want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link here so you guys can check it out. I just can't believe, at least for me in my channel, you know, that is so new, can't believe that that video has over 10,000 views and, you know, I hit over 10,000 views in less than a week. So thank you for everybody who tuned in and watched it. I appreciate the support and I just, you know, I'm like speechless over here. So thank you for that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's talk sneakers. Today's video is on the New Balance 991 and Slam Jam collaboration. Right, guys so this new balance 991 and slam jam collaboration was initially announced around mid april maybe late april they were working on this collaboration obviously they started posting pictures and, and things like that so the hype started growing right away slam jam did have a raffle which i signed up for it took an l there but the shoe officially released on slam jam on may 7th 2021 and then the sneaker released on the new balance website on may 13th 2021 which was a wider release i was super lucky that i hit through and clothing i won a raffle there and the retail price for these was 250 so 2021 has been a huge year for the 991 obviously this being the 20th year of the 991 so new balance has basically been throwing everything at this shoe with uh, some dope you know collaboration like this one and obviously some really cool colorways that have been released already throughout 2021. Prior to this collaboration, I really didn't know much about Slam Jam, which is a really cool name, by the way. But now after this collaboration, it's definitely gonna catch my attention. I will pay more attention to them because really guys, this collaboration in this shoe is super fire. And if you don't know, Slam Jam is a retail shop located and founded in Italy. So jumping into the colorway materials here, you basically have a primarily black and gray colorway. You do have different shades of gray, but it's primarily of just a black and gray color. On the inside of the shoe, the sock lining is made out of this mesh material. The insole has this metallic silver color, and you do have the Slam Jam and New Balance on top of that. Behind the tongue, you have a Made in England and Union Jack tag. On the front of the tongue, you have that 3M material, and then you have the New Balance 991 embroider there. As you can see here, it has these gray laces in the 3M material. You have these silver tips and it has Slam Jam written on them. The tongue is primarily made out of the rip stop material. The eye stays here are made out of the suede material in this darker gray color. At the bottom of the laces, you'll find a lace lock in this translucent material, and it does have the New Balance branding as well. The toe box here is primarily made out of this rip stop material. The underlays on this 991 is primarily the rip stop material, and then the overlays here are the suede and then the rubber material. In this collaboration, Slam Jam replaced the suede material that are normally used on the mud guard and the heel counter, and they replaced it with this black rubber material. It does have a lot of 3M here on the toe box as well. On the lateral side, of course, you'll find the end logo and that 3M material. You'll find most of the suede here on the mid panels of this shoe on the lateral and medial side. All the way to the heel of the shoe on top of the heel counter, you'll find some additional 3M. In the middle there, you'll find the 991 embroider. Underneath that, it has some 3M material as well. Slam Jam replaced the heel stabilizer with this translucent material. Most 991s have a regular dark plastic material there. Here, they replaced it with a translucent material, which is a nice detail. Moving over to the midsole, it's a two-tone color. You have darker gray on the forefoot part of the shoe and then towards the heel part of the shoe, it switches to a lighter gray. You have some exposed absorb material on the lateral and medial side around the forefoot part of the shoe, and then all the way to the heel part, you have some additional exposed absorb in this bubble-like material, and then you have the absorb branding there in the middle as well. And finally, the outsole is made out of the rubber material, and then you have a black and gray outsole. You have some absorb branding on the forefoot part of the shoe, and some New Balance branding around the heel part and also the Endurance branding as well. So when it comes to sizing, guys, I've said this before, you know, made in English shoes, I normally go with a size 10 and made in USA shoes, I go with a nine and a half. You know, the 991 runs a little bit more narrow here around the toe box area. So if you really have wide feet, I recommend at least going true to size. So for example, if you wear a nine and a half and a 992, 
and go with a size 10 on this 991. When it comes to comfort, the 991 definitely delivers. It's a nice combination of softness and firmness. So you'll definitely feel comfort throughout the day and it's a really good shoe for you know long distance walks. If you're walking around the city, you're gonna be walking a lot. This shoe will definitely deliver in that area. Another thing to point out is that this collaboration does come with three color laces. You have the gray 3M laces, you have the black laces, and you also have red laces. The only ones that have the silver tip with the slam jam on it are the 3M laces. The shoes come in this regular made in England box, so the shoes don't come in a special edition slam jam box or anything like that. Here is the official tag in SKU. All right guys, so my overall take on this Slam Jam collaboration is that they absolutely nailed it. I love this colorway. I love how they changed some of the materials that we're used to seeing on a 991. You know, when it comes to the 991, we're used to seeing a lot of mesh, a lot of suede. You know, here they switched things up from the rip stop to the uh, rubber mud guard and heel counter. Makes the shoe uh, more durable, I think, and it makes the shoe more wearable. Like if you're thinking of wearing these, on a maybe rainy day or something like that, you don't have to freak out so much about messing up your suede. Here, they made the shoe a little bit more rugged, and I think that was a great idea. I also love the fact that it has so much 3M. I love sneakers with 3M, and here they really went all in, man. They really did a good job. You know, when I first saw the official images of this Slam Jam, you know, they were black and white, so you couldn't really tell what was what, but I had a gut feeling that the 3M material that looked very white on the images was going to be 3m and they absolutely killed it with that and that's one of my favorite features of this 991. i also love the fact that they threw in three color laces again i love when they throw in more laces i appreciate that but i love these red color laces they're not like a ferrari red they're more like a cherry red so it's not as bright or anything like that and they're not going to stand out so much but with this black and gray color you throw in these red laces man it just makes it pop and it just makes it stand out a lot more. When it comes to the craftsmanship, overall, they did a good job here. The only area where I'm gonna knock them for is around the heel part of the shoe. You know, I guess when they paint over the heel, you know, the paint bubbles up a little bit, and then when those bubbles pop, it looks like it has these little dents around the heel part of the shoe. So that's the only area where I'm gonna knock them for it. But overall, you know, the materials feel really premium. You know, the little bit of sway that it does have on the mid panels of the shoe, that still feels very New Balance-like you know, very high quality suede. So they definitely did not try to be cheap here by not giving us, you know, really good quality suede. So overall guys, definitely a dope collaboration. Like I said, it's my favorite collaboration so far in 2021. And that might not last very long because we already know that there's some other dope collaborations around the corner, like the 990 V3 Bodega and the Fresh Goods. So there's a lot of stuff coming out. New Balance is already having a really awesome year. And once again, with this one, they keeping that streak going, man and they really delivered here guys they really knocked it out of the park when it comes to the resale value on these i think right now on stock x they're going for about 315 for a size 10. it's not super insane super crazy but if you want to get on them maybe you want to get on them now you know slam jam new balance has worked on a collaboration before with the 990 v3 and those are ridiculously expensive so I don't know if these are ever going to get to that point and if it does it might take years to get to that level but for right now if you really want these you know you may be able to get them for around 300 maybe you bid on these or something like that but this is a dope collaboration guys these are super fire super wearable with this colorway and i highly recommend them man these are super dope all right guys so let me throw these on feet let me lace them up and show you how they look <laughs> Right, guys so that's it for me hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the new balance 991 and slam jam collaboration let me know in the comments below which color lace will you rock if you had these slam jam are you gonna go with the 3m laces or are you gonna go with the red or black laces and like always guys if you haven't yet subscribed definitely feel free to do so below hit that like button as well follow me on instagram at guy and kicks and that's it catch you guys in the next one see ya